So chapter is Meyerman technique. This is chapter number two of AS physics. Now, question is what is meant by measurement? So, measurement is the comparison between required physical quantity with its standard. So the measurement is the comparison between physical quantity, required physical quantity with its standard. Like piece of the cloth of the paper, piece of cloth or the paper is compared with a standard which is called meter rule. So one meter, two meter, three meter, four meter, five meter. So when we are comparing the piece of the cloth with the meter rod, one time, two time, three time, so this is called measurement. If no data is collected, no data is collected and it's not recorded, then this type of the measurement is called null method. I mean just the comparison, no collection of the data, but after the comparison, if data is collected and its uncertainty mean the error is also written along with the measurement then this is called scientific measurement or scientific method so there are two types of the measurement one after the comparison if no data is maintained no data is recorded no data is counted so this is the null method so it is only on the comparison based on the comparison but if after the comparison during the measurement if data is collected with error with uncertainty then this is called scientific method so this null method based on only comparison no record of the data but in this scientific method, we will write measurement like first the main reading and number two plus minus the error. I mean the uncertainty, what is the error, so which error is possible in this requirement. For example, we are measuring the volume and we are writing here, it is 15 ml plus minus 1 ml. Mean it can be 1 ml more, it can be less. So this is actually the scientific method of the measurement. Now this portion is the reading. This portion is the uncertainty when error uncertainty is divided by its actual reading, then this is called fractional error. It has no unit, but the error has unit similar to the reading. So error divided by reading is known as fractional error or fractional uncertainty without any unit. And the next, when error divided by reading is multiplied with 100, this is called percentage error or uncertainty. 
it has no unit again. So the error divided by reading times 100 is called percentage uncertainty. Uh, this null method is the full of the uncertainties, full of the errors. But in scientific method, we mention the uncertainty, we mention the error. If the error is not made purposely, not made deliberately, then the error is called absolute uncertainty. So we will assume that the error is not made deliberately. So all values written here instead of this error will be considered absolute uncertainty. So the measurement is equal to reading plus absolute uncertainty plus minus. Now, there are many types of the error. So first type of the error is the systematic error. which is due to system, systematic error, uh, the systematic uncertainty. First reason for this, it is due to faulty instrument. So the error which is arising due to the fault of the instrument is considered systematic error. And number two, error due to wrong assumption. So the number one is the faulty instrument. Number two, the wrong assumption. So faulty instrument example is a zero error. And the wrong assumption mean the value of the G in O level is 10 meter per second square, but now here it is 9.81 meter per second. So this is the wrong assumption. This was the wrong assumption. It is considered the systematic error. Okay, and the third reason is the limitations of the observer. mean any fixed fault, fixed problem in the observer. And there's a constant and there is a fixed limitation in the human body, which is called the reaction time. So the my reaction time at this stage is 0 0.18 second. And your reaction time must be smaller than 0.15 second. So this is the fixed uncertainty. Yes, we delay for this period of time. So this is the limitation of the observer. This is one of the examples, the reaction time. So there are three reason, major reason for the systematic error. Number one is the faulty instrument like zero error Number two is a wrong assumption like G value 10 and now 89.81. And number three, the limitation of the observer like the human reaction time error. Now the properties of this error is, this error is one-sided error. It is one-sided error mean it does not fluctuate both sides of true value. It remains one side. If one att in first attempt, it is higher than the actual value then the next, it will be different, but will be higher. For example, this reading is 7.4 actual value. 
the original value, the true value is 7.4 centimeter. And the first attempt is given 7.6 centimeter due to this systematic error. Next time it will be greater, but maybe different, maybe 7.7 .7 centimeter. Look, it's greater than this value may be different. So it remains one side of the actual value, one side of the true value. It does not fluctuate both side mean sometime less, sometime more. No, one side. If first time it's smaller, then all the time it will be smaller, but may be different. And the number two, it cannot be reduced by taking average of all readings. So this is not the error which can be reduced by taking the average. So systematic error cannot be reduced by taking the average. And number three, if it is due to faulty instrument, then by replacing the instrument it may be eliminated completely So if it is only due to the faulty instrument, then we can eliminate it entirely. We can remove it entirely by replacing the instrument. And the last number four, number four. So reading with minimum systematic error, will be considered the most accurate reading. So the accuracy depends on the systematic error. Yes, number two now. Type of the error is called random error. So first reason is the parallax situation. I mean the reading is taken from the wrong position. The parallax situation. Your line of sight is not perpendicular to the scale of the instrument. You are reading the instrument from the wrong position. That is called the parallax error parallax situation. And number two, this random error is due to some unavoided surrounding physical conditions like change in pressure and change in temperature in the surrounding. So the random error is due to two situation. Number one, the parallax situation and number two, some avoided, unavoided surrounding physical condition like I have no control on the air pressure outside no control on the environment like temperature, like change of temperature and the change of the pressure. So these two situation will cause the random error. Now the properties for the random error, number one, it fluctuates both sides of true value mean 
if this is the actual value it can be less than this it can be more than this so this is suppose higher than actual then this will be lower than actual. so it can be both sides sometimes small sometimes large we have no control on it and number two this error can be reduced by taking average of several readings suppose we have three readings add them divide by three so we will reduce this like atp so it can be reduced by taking the average of the several reading and number three it cannot be eliminated entirely it cannot be removed from the reading so in all readings it is present all reading of the universe will have random uncertainty random error so in all reading there will be some quantity of the random uncertainty and number four reading with minimum random error is considered most precise maybe or may not be accurate but it is more precise reading so the precision depends on random error and the accuracy depends on systematic error